Welcome to the video, my name's Preheated Panda. Everybody else wake up rather disturbed last week when the uh, Guardian dropped this uh, beauty of a title, New Lord of the Rings films in the work at Warner Brothers. Oh, God. Before any of you come after me and go, Oh, but Panda, it's, uh, it's not Amazon, it's not the Rings of Power, it's going to be different. It's not. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be different. I'm not excited for this. It's, it's going to be terrible. Anyway, moving on further down the article, Warner Brothers Discovery Chief Executive David Zasloff announced Thursday on an earnings call that a deal had been brokered to make multiple films based on J.R.R. Tolkien's books. The cost of the deal with Embracer Group, the Swedish gaming company that owns the rights to most of Tolkien's world, has yet to be revealed. What, you, you fucking morons saw that Rings of Power was just such a shit show with all the reviews and articles and stuff? <laughs> that you're like, oh yeah, we could do it better. What a bunch of jagoffs, dude. I mean, why does every single IP that's ever been made have to get the MCU treatment? And don't even, don't even go there with me, dude. You know this is exactly what they're doing, right? Warner Brothers is so desperate because of shit like this. That now they're they're so desperate for crap. They're talking about rebooting Harry Potter. Now we're talking about rebooting. Well, they didn't say reboot, but this is the direction we're trending in. Don't reboot a clean sweep at the Oscars, dude. The first three Lord of the Rings movies are like the best thing that humanity has ever made, besides the books themselves. And you're gonna have the audacity to go, but Legolas's story before the story and Aragorn's story. After the story. Dude, Tolkien himself said he didn't want to write about that stuff. He started writing a sequel. It's called The Shadow of Something. And he quit doing it because it took away from the happy ending that was already created in Return of the King. Nobody's asking for this shit. I, God damn it, am I not excited for this. I mean, just look at what Amazon did with Lord of the Rings. First of all, they didn't respect the lore at all, and we ended up with crap like this. Half of us just left. But half stayed. You will die because of me! Yeah! I, I mean, God, the show was fucking insufferable. I, every character was so lame and stupid, and they took Galadriel and just took a big, fat, steamy dump on her character. No more Lord of the Rings. Hollywood isn't worthy of Lord of the Rings stories. They're too woke, they're too political. Get your garbage out of here. Unless you're going to respect the lore every step of the way. The one positive thing, I guess, to come out of this is that Peter Jackson's been involved the whole way with Warner Brothers. With them buying and obtaining more rights to Lord of the Rings stories. So, I, from what it sounds like, he's going to be involved. Which is, you know, a sliver. There's that silver lining of hope that we have that this could maybe possibly turn out to be a good thing. I mean, I'm sorry that I'm so negative about it. But I just, like, the Rings of Power hurt my soul. And that's all I can think about for new Lord of the Rings products, right? That's all we got. But see, I try to be positive about this stuff, but then Fox News will release articles like this garbage. Lord of the Rings reboots inspires outrage from fans. We get it already. Y'all hate Tolkien. Is, is that it, Fox News? Do we hate Tolkien, or do we just hate the garbage that's been put out for the, such a beloved series? God damn it. We're talking about the fourth most sold book on planet Earth here, all right? It's not just some story from some bumblefuck writer. This is Lord of the Rings, dude. Look at this list, all right? This book is behind the Bible, Mao Zedong quotes, the Quran, and then it's Lord of the Rings. That's how popular this series is. I, I love that when fans aren't, like, over-the-top excited about Hollywood obtaining IPs and stuff like that, it's like, Oh, you guys are just babies and you hate it. We get it that you hate the author's work. No, actually, buddy, we love it and we just want it to be treated right because it was just, it was a hot steaming pile of shit that Amazon put out. It wrote Lord of the Rings on top of it. You people should be ashamed. It's called passion, not hatred. God damn it. Let's, let's tone it down to about a three. 
All right, sorry, everybody. I, I want to be excited for this. I just worry that Warner Brothers, in their infinite desperation to have some sort of good film cinematic universe lined up, that they're choosing, they're barking up the wrong tree, all right? It's already been proven that the Tolkien fandom just won't stand for garbage. Amazon had to fudge numbers, lie about ratings and everything when their show wasn't good. I appreciate them for bringing in Peter Jackson and keeping him involved. As I hope he's a director, honestly. And you know what? Peter Jackson will take the mistakes that he made in The Hobbit, and I'm sure he will turn it into something somewhat better. I, I mean, God damn, is the bar set so fucking low with Rings of Power? It's ridiculous. I, I feel like if Warner Brothers was genuinely serious about this, they would have forked over the money to the Tolkien estate to try and buy the Silmarillion. It's, if you're not... If you don't know what that is, it's like the creation of Middle Earth and all. It's, it's I'd pretty much call it a Bible for Lord of the Rings, and it talks about Sauron's boss, Morgoth, and what he's doing, and like the war between elves and orcs and all. It's so such a great story. And the Tolkien estate doesn't want to give it up. Oh man, I can't believe it. Why wouldn't they want to give it up? It's like Amazon took all this stuff from the Second Age and took a big fat steamy shit on it. We're not. <laughs> we're done talking about. Amazon for the time being. But but still, I just I feel like this is a desperation move from Warner Brothers. To be honest, it's pathetic. I don't want more Lord of the Rings stuff. It doesn't need the MCU treatment. I'm just sick and tired of it, man. Go why why can't Hollywood go back to the glory days of where they were making their own original stories? I don't understand why they feel the need to adapt every single story from such an already established fan base I, I feel like it's almost harder to do that than to come up with an original story because now these fans have all these expectations of how the story should go in the characters and when it's disrespected people lose their fucking mind but Hollywood takes such an issue with that what do you mean you don't like what I made you have to love it because you're already a fan of the established topic I, those days are done dude People aren't just going to swallow garbage. And Amazon proved that with the Rings of Power. All the luck to you, Warner Brothers. I really hope it goes well. But me personally, I will not be excited until you prove yourself. I just want to take some time and apologize for my absence here on YouTube. I started working again, so it's a lot harder for me to uh, you know, come up with the free time to record and research and do all that before I put videos out. So I thank you guys who have stayed subscribed to me and have been anxiously awaiting for a new video. If you like this one, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one.